What is going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 2. Hey guys, this is Vinny with an an another commentary. And um, today I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 2. And it'll probably will be one of my few videos where I talk about this game. Um, for now, because it is coming out in six months, and speculating about a game too much that's coming out in a very long time, well, yeah, I'm just not going to talk about it too much, because it's coming out in six months, so whatever, um, but I'm going to be talking about, you know, why I think this will be the best Call of Duty ever, and why I, I'm just, I have such high hopes for it. I'll be linking two articles in the description, the, that's where I got most of my info, um, but um see now the first reason now this is why I think this game is going to be so good it it's made by Treyarch and Treyarch they they support their customers they support their games and they listen to their customers and David von der Hart seems to have a very good grip on this game and he seems like um seems like he's doing he's going to do a good job and I'm just I'm just very excited for this game I'm a Treyarch fanboy I'm just going to say it I'm always prefer the Treyarch games to Infinity War games. Um, maybe, I mean, because whichever Call of Duty you start playing, whatever your first Call of Duty was, you're going to be attached to that particular developer because that's just how, you know, because that's when you joined. I joined at World at War. World at War was my first ever Black, uh, Black Ops, my first ever Call of Duty. So when I joined in at World at War, you know, I was uh, I was attached. I was like, "Wow, Chark, you made a great game, and I love this game, and whatever." And then Modern Warfare Two came out, and I was like, "Meh," I you know I didn't really get it. I didn't get it. I mean, you know, and I wasn't really into the whole YouTube uh, scene at that moment, you know, in time. But um, then I got Black Ops when that came out, and that's when I really started getting into the YouTube stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I got Black Ops, and then I got Modern Warfare Two, like. During like, you know, and I don't know, was it like halfway through Black Ops? I got Modern Warfare Two, and um, and COD Four. I never even played that game. I got that game. When did I get COD Four? I got COD Four like, um, um, during Black Ops life cycle as well. I, I you know I went back and played them, even though they were broken. But so um, what I'm basically trying to say is that whichever Call of Duty you start playing, you will love that developer, and that's my case. And you know and. A lot of people much prefer Infinity Ward, but in my opinion, Infinity Ward aren't really Infinity Ward anymore. I mean, they've split up. I mean, the original creators of Call of Duty 4 have left. And I just don't see them. I mean, they really, they kind of screwed us over with Modern Warfare 3. They haven't done shit to that game. I mean, Treyarch in Black Ops, they patched glitches that I didn't even know existed. They'd be like, oh, we patched this glitch on a, a firing range where you can get out of the map. And I was like, wow, really? I didn't know that. Like, they just patched glitches that we didn't even know about. Well, I didn't know about anyway. So, and I just think their support is impeccable. And they fix stuff. Okay, in Black Ops, they fixed the sound a little bit. It got a bit better. Still wasn't that good. They fixed the um, chat. Which wasn't that good at the beginning of Black Ops. What have Infinity War done to Modern Warfare 3? Well, what have they done? I guess, I mean, apart from gun nerfs, like the FMG9s and shit like that, what have they done to actually improve the game? Have they fixed the spawns? No, no. Have they... What else haven't they done? I don't know. <laughs> They, no, they never fix the spawns. That's the biggest thing. I don't understand why they can't just fix the spawns. And why can't they just make their game a little bit better? Um, I don't know. I mean, because I've heard that Black Ops 2 will have a mute all but party button. So basically, you'd be allowed to mute all the whining bitches that are in your party with one button. Why couldn't Infinity Ward have added simple stuff like that? <coughs> What did they add in Modern Warfare 3 that wasn't in previous Call of Duties? Okay, they added Specialist. Sorry. And, um, um, in they added Specialist, they added 
support kill streaks. Okay, that. What else? Obviously, kill streaks. But kill streaks are going to be different every Call of Duty. You can't say that that's a a big um, change in the Call of Duty franchise because it's not. Um, what else have they added to the game? Um, the guns are different. The maps are different. But that's always going to change in every Call of Duty. I don't just not really see what I'm not really seeing what they added. Well, what else did they add? Well, they added Dead Man's Hand. Whoopty fucking do. So um, I just think you know, look at all this stuff and Black Ops doing. Black Ops are completely changing. They've gone from the from the bloody you know World War Two developer to the fucking futuristic developer. I mean, I I I know I was talking to someone and he said that it doesn't look like Treyarch. And he and he's sh and he's like I, I think this game is gonna be shit. I don't it doesn't look like Treyarch. I'm scared. Yeah, dude, you're scared about change, man. Embrace it. This game needs change. If the Call of Duty franchise is going to survive, okay, it needs to change and be, you know, be just just new and fresh. And you know, I don't think in Modern Warfare 3 we really did that. I mean, the storyline was okay, I guess. The multiplayer was... God, this fucking spawns. This is probably the most frustrating Call of Duty ever. But I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say that, you know, people are scared of change. Man, embrace it. Call of Duty Black Ops. I mean, look at all the stuff they've added. For now, this is what I've heard of. The zombies. I've, in the article below, you can read that. Unofficially, zombies have been said to be 8-player zombies. Bigger maps. Zombie game modes, um, you know, d you know, a mute all but party button. Why couldn't Infinite Ward add little things, subtle little differences that could that could, you know, wh why why didn't someone in the Infinity War fucking office say, well, what if we added a button that muted everyone except people in your party? Or I mean, that's a very small little change, and I, I'm pretty sure that would be easy to add into the game. I mean, I don't think developers change their game enough after the release. I think they should not change it, the core of it, but add little things, okay? Add little bonuses that make the game better. But um, that's my opinion. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and this commentary, then uh, please give me a like. And if you want to support me, then uh, share this on Twitter. And definitely go follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to communicate <coughs> and to get in touch with you guys. And uh, yeah, on the screen right now you'll see my last video, commenting and getting noticed on YouTube. And um, my uh, the other video to the right is uh, me, uh, you know, just telling a little story about how I farted in class. It was pretty, pretty embarrassing. So um, if you guys could go over there and give those videos likes and stuff, follow me on Twitter. And subscribe for more videos. I make a lot of them. and. Sorry if I sounded a bit tired today, but uh, just had just just how I'm feeling, and you know if I feel tired and it's gonna reflect in my commentaries, but that's just gonna you know that's just how it's gonna be. So uh, thank you, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, see you later.